Hello, it's Alina here. Um, this is a demonstration of my digital audio application built in Pure Data, which is basically a looper device borrowing some tape characteristics. Um, I was therefore inspired by um, the tape machines and also by a device called the Tempo Phone from 1955 which basically allowed you to change the speed of the tape um, without altering its speech and vice versa. Um, so for this you can use any sample you want as it is quite experimental, experimental in nature. However, for today I will use some vocal samples as I think they work best. Um, so let's listen to the raw samples. You have been Smile deceived, so but different. you will learn the truth. When Karen tonight, arrived at the restaurant that evening, now to dive straight in, in, I've implemented some Go random presets to get an idea of what the device is um, able to do. So let's choose one. As you can see, the first sample is going in reverse. Uh, basically what I like to do is make very short loops, so adjust the start and end point for each sample. Basically you could adjust the speed and pitch for each of the sample. So let's pitch the second one up. Then you could apply some tape compression on the individual uh, samples. Then here we have the um, delay section for the first sample, here we have the delay section for the second sample, and this is a master section where uh, both of the samples get summed, um, so I could manually crossfade between the two samples. Or I could have an LFO do that for me. And now it's going fast, uh, but I could have it go slow. Then we have here a random hiss generator. Basically, this emulates the constant hiss that you hear on tape. However, I've implemented it so that it comes um, every now and then just to make it more interesting. You will hear some hiss from time to time. Then we have some, um, a high frequency loss um, switch. Basically, when you uh, change the speed of the tape, you might lose some high frequency uh, content. And basically, this is what it does it emulates that behavior. Um, it's a very subtle effect, and also it comes in randomly every now and then. Then we have a chorus effect applied to the master output. Then at the end of the chain we have a ping pong delay. Let's go ahead and choose another preset. Basically, this is going crazy. As you can see, both of the samples are going in reverse. And I could play around with these parameters. Um, let's add some more delay on the first sample. Maybe change the delay times.
and let's say I want the second delay to be less bright I could adjust the filter, the center frequency of the um, delay uh, filter let's go to 500 Hertz and more amount and then make the first one brighter 7k and more of the filter Let's choose another uh, preset. And another one. And then if you want to go back to the original samples, there's a reset button here. And these are the uh, raw vocal samples. So as you can see, you can go uh, quite crazy with it and there are endless uh, options. Um, for these parameters to be changed. Um, lastly, if you want to record your uh, crazy jamming, um, you can create a WAV file here. And then once you press record, everything uh, gets recorded onto the hard disk. Um, then when you're ready, you stop it and you will find the WAV file within the same um, folder as the main patch. Stand outside the entrance on the left.